Welcome and peace and blessings be upon you, dear viewers of Horn of Africa TV. This is the seventh program in the Somali edition. I'm your host, Mohammed Mahmoud, and today is the 12th of October, 2021. And it's a very special day because today, truth and justice have triumphed over falsehood. The International Court of Justice, the ICJ in The Hague, which is the leading court of the United Nations, has announced its ruling on the maritime delimitation in the Indian Ocean. The court rejected Kenya's false claim on Somali territorial waters. So on behalf of all Somalis, I would like to thank our Creator Almighty Allah and the great heroes and modern day Somali warriors for their efforts to fight off a vulture who tried to swallow our marine resource wealth and take advantage of what they perceived to be a weakened Somalia. Gul you Nemo. Ilaha Kasuko, Wahanum had Nakaya Halia Yellow Somaliad, or Halgan Kankape Party, or an Layasha Kairat Kadalkan de Fai, or a corn, your Talin, your mal, your dig could the Fai Dalkoda, Ad Bauma Santihin, Wahan Regenia Elahi Inu Namideo, or Adogan Shakania Ujabio, Adoga Sukaye, Yo Kan Shashaya, I mean. First, I want to give you a brief history and overview of the Somali-Kenyan uh, maritime dispute. In 2009, a memorandum of understanding was signed between Kenya and corrupt Somali officials. Unsurprisingly, this illegal agreement was rejected by the Somali parliament. And on the 28th of August 2014, Somalia filed a case against Kenya. Kenya initially refused to acknowledge the jurisdiction of the ICJ until in February 2017, Kenya acknowledged that the ICJ does have jurisdiction. However, on multiple occasions, Kenya seemed to deliberately delay the case, even as recently as uh, um, 15th March 2021, Kenya refused to take part in oral hearings and, and uh, was nowhere to be seen in today's hearing. To many, this has been a sign that Kenya knows it's wrong and out of guilt has refused to take part in legal proceedings and tried to slow down the path of justice, but truth and justice have prevailed. Um, from a technical perspective, the area we're talking about is almost 100,000 square kilometers or 40,000 square miles. Kenya prematurely and illegally granted exploration rights to two oil companies. Um, in the, in the disputed area. The two companies are Total and Eni, who retreated after realizing the international attention on this shady deal, as well as the resolve of the Somali people to defend their territory no matter what. The ruling is decided over the main aspects of Somali territory. The first being the territorial sea, which is 12 nautical miles from the shore, the second is the exclusive economic zone, which is up to 200 nautical miles. And finally, the extended continental shelf, which is up to 350 nautical miles. So what's next for Kenya? There are three options. Option one, Kenya can accept the truth and prevent further escalation with its neighbor, uh, Somalia, uh, perhaps even establishing peaceful relations because unfortunately it's already acting in a very aggressive manner in places such as Gedo and the lower uh, Juba region of, Som of Somalia where Kenyan troops routinely kill uh, and commit war crimes against Somali families and pastoralists whilst labeling them terrorists. Option two, Kenya can continue being a bad neighbor and playing politics inside Somalia, trying to buy corrupt officials uh, and political sellouts. Option three, Kenya can take it a step further, continue its illegal occupation of Somali territory, both on land and at sea, escalate its military presence and attacks on Somali civilians and Somali sovereignty. Um, some Kenyan politicians are beating the drums of war because of upcoming elections, but I warn Kenya not to wake the sleeping warrior of East Africa. Somalis are fed up of hearing about their brothers and sisters being killed 
So to further escalate things would be a major, uh, a major strategic error on Kenya's part, considering Somalia's long history of defeating invaders from the Portuguese to the British, Italian and French colonizers and many other invaders. And what's next for Somalia and those who love truth and justice? Number one, unity against injustice. There's still the matter of NFD and DS and DDS, the obvious shameless meddling and deliberate destabilization of Somalia, robbery of Somalia's vast res, uh, resources, both on land and at sea. Just remember that justice and truth will prevail in these matters also. Number two, you're probably wondering what to do. It's simple. Celebrate. Celebrate at home. Celebrate on the streets. Celebrate online. Talk about this blog about this, tweet about this, vlog about this, and remember to use the hashtag ICJSomalia. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you all on the next program. Peace.